well, and we know that it is a very comfortable champion for him. Which do you prefer when you see the two compositions side by side, picking a Jin into Leona Sion? In control of the game. Let's see whether or not they can survive. Here comes Yankos down in the bottom lane. Body slams available to him. The target is Ming. He's already used the flash. That's a three versus two. Ming will go down. First blood picked up in. by Yarnin and G2. They're looking to escape. Azuzi dashes forward. There's Aurora of the Slayer onto Yankos. He manages to... That they couldn't find that early game proactivity to open up the map, allow uh, them to snowball these team fights. But now Yanko's in the top side. All right, Lefty's in a little bit of trouble here in a two on one. Perks and Yanko's gonna look to drop him down. It's an easy kill secure at the cost of the tower bonus. Plus, Ocean Drake just get completed in the very next second of your statement, Azale. Um, as we crest the 15 minute mark. One. This is what RNG needs to do, and G2 need to split the map, pressure turns. All right, Yankos is gonna throw down the stopwatch, try to contest the Rift Herald, and just concedes his oh, hit points, and it will fall down. No contest from G2 Esports. They are gonna be forced to back off, though, because of the pressure perks had elsewhere. So. Shortly in favor of G2. And this is the coolest thing about this matchup for me, because it's kind of gone almost how we expected, in that Perks and Wonder have built their own. <laughs> but then I realized, of course, it is in fact Perks who has all that vision available to him. And he had all the support as well, a yeah. number of G2 members backing him up. But I think you hit the nail on the head, uh, Azale. Trying to gain vision throughout G2 jungle is most important. It's being flashed. Oh, in. that's a very flash forward. Remember Wonder with no ultimate? Well, he's already down. Wonder it's flying and dashing and diving in the fight, but he gets caught by the decimating smash. A retreating Realm Warp cannot escape from Karsa. He's threatened to fall through G2, and look at that, Perks is down. That's the third of the fight. Only the duo left standing, but not for much longer. Kionin is feared beyond death. And let me says, please, I'll have the inner turret. And this is the worst case scenario for G2 as RNG finds their team fight. The Lucian is at two items. Their front line is plenty tanky, and with the minion wave already set up in bot, they can secure an inhibitor. They're gonna get a 20 minute inhibitor here and choosing their timing perfectly. They force the alt out of wonder, they find the pick onto him, dies a me too. Using the Talia wall to just secure themselves another objective. If I recall correctly, uh, the first stage of Groot's perks are running for their lives after the teleport complete. Solar flare onto perks. Gonna hold on to the flash, and it's Uzi on a killing spree. 3-0-3, 100. Use it, and they turn it in their favor. And this is also what the expectation was for this series coming in, especially game one. Looking at a 1-3-1 start. G2 can't contest this time around. Yeah. This should be an easy secure for RNG. Excellently done from the yep. First round Robin, second round Robin. I wanna get back to that in a moment as Ming will be stepping forward, gets rooted up, but he's found the Zenith Blade. That means he's got the engage. Fear Beyond Death has already got a kill, but Wonder's got one back at what cost? The World Ender will bring him back to life, but he's already surrounded by RNG members and not here what? to contest. G2, they'll be forced to defend with what they with the way in which RNG are playing. They can just look to walk into the base of G2. And it's still 100% kill participation for Uzi. 4-0-4. Four, four. He's got the Baron buff, he's got the support of Xiao Hu. And he's exposed another inhibitor just shy of clock. It's an 8,000 gold lead, three dragons to nothing, eight kills to four, eight towers to two. This is a shellacking in favor of World Epic Battle. It certainly is. And as we see this fight one more time, G2 is retreating and starts to group up. So Ming says, I'm going in looking for perks, knowing he didn't have the flash. Xiao Hu is already behind them, and in comes Uzi. And this was just the perfect setup for Ming. The fact that Perks was just chain CC'd underneath. Here we go Bye again. Time. Oh no, they're gonna get away from that. But uh, unfortunately for G2, they got forced into this channel, uh, this funnel. Uh, Choke and, uh, point uh, yeah. or tunnel. Yeah, yeah, that channel. <laughs> I get it. Covered all that bases. is what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, they lost, they lost the fight. RNG <laughs> now trying to siege at mid. And I think RNG can take whatever they want. 30 seconds left on Baron. He comes over the wall, Ming doesn't find his man. But it doesn't matter, the first inhibitor falls. They'll be able to just peel around to the bottom lane. Knock over the second inhibitor as they desire. G2 got a little bit of time before Uzi can get into the fight. And Ming finds a center play, that's a defensive flash from Yankos and G2 are routed and running for their lives. Lefty's ultimate gets the first. There's a reply from Parsa for the second. G2 Esports are being obliterated inside their base. The double kill for Uzi to close it out, and they're gonna look for the ace. 
before they finish the base. Let me is trying to hunt him down with those shotgun knees. The Nexus turrets start to fall. Royal never give up. The number one seed from the LPL. They will pick up this first game, taking down G2 Esports. And an incredible first game from RNG. They check all the boxes, playing so well.